Welcome to this series where we are playing Father's Frontier. In the last part, we were making progress with developing our new town site out here. We also managed to finally get some cattle. And you can see our herd is now increased to 6 out of 10. And I do want to bit of, do a bit of an experiment here with something. I, I was watching a video and somebody actually kind of pointed it out. A, an interesting effect. So I do want to get that going there. Now the other problem is we've got uh, deer in this area running around left, right and centre. We also seem to get deer coming in from here. So I'm going to need to fence in this field as well. And I want to do that almost straight away. So uh, I think we're uh, fence into there. Work workers will come from. Oh, we got workers over here. So uh leave a gap there oops no um put it down to there and, uh, but the gate there the gate there so that's something also a big thank you for all your comments and feedback as usual you guys give me a lot to think about now somebody did point out about the apries and I've realized that I've got two side by side here. So I've got reasonable coverage. But um, and I think what I'm going to do is risk losing a little bit of the... Actually, we can just put the apiary about there. I think just at there. And I also want to put another one here because I've realized that I haven't got any apiaries. Actually, in this area here. Covering the these uh, fruit trees so what I'd like to do haha <laughs> gonna let me is it I don't really want to overlap that too much maybe we're put maybe I oh look at that now oh, that's brilliant we'll put an apiary there um, I think the trick guys is that when you put planting these um, kind of apple apple orchard tree type things is you need to leave a little bit of a space for an apiary. In fact, I might just do that. Um, if I put one there, then that's overlapping too much. That's overlapping a little bit. I think maybe we'll just have to accept some a little bit of loss. Put another one there. We'll just get those built. I mean, they will produce a lot of honey. We've got deer here. I'm not sure if I got a hunter. It's a forager shack. It's a different fishing shack. Where are all my hunters? Got a real bad problem with rats though. What? Yeah, I'm moving this guy away. Uh, I think he's been moved up over there. Somehow and the forager where, where are all my hunters um, I'm sure I have hunters okay, we've got hunter there I'll bring that um, hunters there kind of this guy I kind of feel a bit inclined to um, where is he so he's got no real coverage here he's hunting hunting hunter hunting <laughs> uh i'm not seeing anything here so this hunter's kind of not really got any coverage now i mean some deer there that this guy's covering this deer. Um, not because there's no deer here. Um, where are you? This guy, look. I do wonder if it's time to push this one out. Well, to this work camp, I think. Uh, move you. You're not really contributing that much so, well, put you 
get you right out here. In fact, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a little bit of exploration in this area. Just let the, anyone, anyone, nothing else to do can go out there. Um, I've got a trader. What oh, this guy's got to offer. Right, he's got a reasonable price on baskets. So, uh, yeah, 150 baskets. We've got five hide coats. 100 gold there. That's about it. So, right. Now, before I get too distracted, I want to put in fences. And I want to put this in, and what I'm thinking is to put this guy up here. As you can see, he's got a protective range. And I've got a feeling that we get, uh, we do get some uh, things. Plus, I'm kind of wondering whether we'll actually give this guy a, a fortified defense as well. So, maybe we'll just do that. Now, I've got absolutely no idea whether this is going to be beneficial, but I think we're, we are going to go for it. So what we'll do is build this, put a stone wall round, so if we do get raiders come in or raiders attack their barracks, we'll have some defences. Why is everyone so unhappy? Lack of shoes. Food supplies are low. Wow. Okay. What's up with my food supplies then? Is that because the population has got so high and I'm not delivering? Mind you, we are in the first part of the new year. Um... I mean, we've got plenty of grain. I do wonder if uh, I need to buy in some food. Um, we've got some smoked fish. What have you got? You've got beans for a very low price. We could buy in kind of 197 beans. That might help. Uh, we got smoke, smoke fish. Oh, that's medicinal roots, not fish. <laughs> um, you're beans, aren't you? Okay. This guy is got some smoke fish here. Got lots and lots of flour. Um, maybe I need another bakery. I mean, we've got the bakery. Where's the bakery? The bakery's down here, isn't it? Um, I think maybe we need to get a few extra people in here. No point having lots of flour if we're not producing bread. Um, so much bread have we got? Um... Yeah, food is a bit low. Um, what have we got here? We've got rot. rot. Okay, how come I've got deer here? Um, let me just look. Where was that hunter's? That guy's moving. Ah, no, sorry. I can't understand where all that them deer are coming from. We do got we have got deer sighted there. Are they assess is that where they're coming from? Okay. I want to move to my new strategy. Now I saw this in a uh, a video that someone was actually making and that is that we've got cattle here and what they were saying is that you can get better fertility here by actually creating uh, well, let's just do it and see if it makes sense feel free to comment on this because I've got absolutely no idea 
what they said was is right check that's all can we start over there this is late by 12 and then get another Start, so we can get another um, 8 by 12 in that direction as well. Yeah. Um, now the idea is that you what you do is, is you put the field down that where and what you should be able to do is set the grazing area like this here. And then what happens is, is you grow clover in the field, which improves fertility and it actually produces more for the fodder for the cattle as well. I think what we will do is I just want to move that over possibly about there. If we put it, try to get a little bit of an area resume and if we got deer coming from there what i want to do is we're gonna see if we can keep the deer out of our fields by uh, come out a bit like that um just about there we're going to kind of split the field up with respect to got a gate about there. Trouble is, is we're going to have field where we got a bit there. What we will do is we'll bring the fence up to about there and then go there. And we'll just build another fence here. What well, that hopefully what that will do is keep the deer although the deer will probably come around here but <laughs> but I build yeah five crops eaten by animals we've got rye rust okay this is not good then again the reason for this series is to learn because I must admit I'm not exactly that happy with what I've actually built So we've got our defences under the way. We've got a little bit of cash to spend. And what I'm looking for... Oops, villager has died. Probably because I killed them accidentally. We do need to improve this area. And of course we've got a horrible problem with rats. Um, rats is one of these features of the game which suddenly sneaks up on you and kind of makes life a little bit unpleasant for you. Sorry, ability, yeah. Well, it's probably the rats dragging everything down, but I am trying to build that area there. I think what we will do is I just want to keep pushing up this area. We've got a well here. I think we'll upgrade the well. Um, where are these predators coming from? Um, thank you for repairs. Or... Oh. I need to be repaired. I mean, this overall, this area is improving. It's, and we are making a little bit more money. Um, we just need to drive the population. New villager is born, predator is attacking. From, yeah, we got predators out here, which are. Okay, it looks very much like we've found a wolf den. Okay. Black, don't go out there anymore. We're going to need to deal with these guys. So we've got two wolf dens out here. Okay. Now we're going to have to be a little bit careful here. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll just move you up that way a little bit first <laughs> um, you can cut down the trees in this area um, 
and then what we'll have to do is work on getting out getting our troops out here and clearing this away this looks like we've got another mountain here as well um what we got over here hawthorn 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 Okay. What have I got? Got a forager's shack here, which is okay, but I don't think it's as good as it should be. Out that way. Well, we got four months of food at the moment. Uh, we got got some wheat coming in. I think if we can really start to push up the bread. How um, much so we got? 380 bread. So we're actually turn, really turning the crops into stuff. We've got preserved foods. We've got cheeses. Uh, I think what we will do is come here. Cheese. What have we got in the way of cheese exports here? Um, where's the cheese? 1,334. Can't see the cheese here. That cheese greens um we got 100 cheeses up to about 20. so we got the field there i think what i'm going to do is get this over to about there so that the cattle are competing with the zoom <laughs> Right, we've got the fence defenses here. Um, where was where was I putting that? Of the what we call it? Oh yeah, we were moving our uh, what we call it over here, our hunter. Not seeing anything here. We got eggs. Okay, villager is cured. Somehow our creatures are still getting in here into my field. Um, do I have a fence along here? I think the problem I've got here is the fact that this is actually uh, um, this line here is we've got trees from the um, birch tree harvest here. It's, it's, we got trees just here. We're causing a bit of a problem. I don't know if I can get a fence up here. I can get a fence to there. And I can get it's to there. Fence to there. But we're gonna have a gap about here, aren't we? Let's see. Um, can I cull the peach tree? Yeah, we'll cull the peach tree. Um, and then we we'll be, might be able to close that gap there. Villager has died. Oh, everyone's dying. Villager's low lab low labor needs to add more to increase efficiency. Okay, uh -huh. wow. Um, we're gonna have to pull. Pull them away from the mines. See how much, how many people left in here? Three in here. Okay, we just. Three in the clay pit. Where's the sand pit? Uh, push you back to two. And about our. Yeah, we're going to pull, push you back to four. Because we do need more workers here. On the positive side, the fact that we're losing population means that we're actually uh, not having a bit of a food problem anymore. We're just going to speed the game up.
Pressure has died. Uh, what we got here? It looks like we may actually get um, to... We've already got to sort out some of these problems. We, I think I've just tried to build too much here at the moment. Um, we've got money. Okay, I think we're just going to let the game... Five new villagers are born. Okay, thank you. I need that. What we got here? Um, I think we're going to need to prioritize that. It's just that little corner there that's causing the problem. Uh, I think I'd also like to prioritize that and get that done so we can get weapons. How much what we got in the way of weapons? Jews really do seem to be a problem. Um, where is the cobbler? Oh, one of the new features of the game is that you, there's going to be a bit of a search um, function to be able to find uh, buildings and also variations of buildings. I think the way it's going to work is that, say you've got multiple weavers, there's going to be a button up here which will allow you to click through and find things. Uh, cobbler shop. Uh, I just feel that maybe we need another cobbler shop. Yes. Let me just see. Here is the cobbler. I think we're got another. Yeah. Problems we don't. I mean, we got eleven hides. We're not. I kind of feel that. This tannery is an. I think I'm going to shut the tannery down. Uh, I just don't feel that that's a good use of hides, to be honest, because we've also got the armory over here that needs hides as well. And we've got a couple of shields, we've got some holbucks for our troops as well. Uh, I just don't feel it for that. Uh, I know the, I know our residents will suffer. Where's the? Oh, I've got rats everywhere now. I've got a rat catcher here. Where is the rat catcher? The rat catcher is there. So he's covering this area. This guy who hasn't been built. This one, I definitely need to keep on the this area here so we really need to get these rat catchers built uh again i'm i know i'm overloading the priority but i just feel that maybe the rat catchers are going to be a lot more important because they're spoiling my food um okay. come through another winter oh, oh, oh. That was a bit um, over the top. Um, okay, Brewer. What's up with the... Storage is empty. I think what we'll do is I've got some beer in here. Uh, answer. Not like we get many screws. We're going to transfer them back the other way. Okay, predators, where are you? Get him. enough of you villagers need clothing now forty four shoes um shoes are definitely a big problem I 
mean, we've got plenty of wood, plenty of stone. Okay, we've got a new trader. It's shoes, shoes, and shoes. Right, they buy 188 herbs. Um, we've got linen coats. Uh, we'll sell some of those, but six. Got a few beers. Oh, uh, oh, twelve beers. And got forty honey. Uh, we're not going to make that much money on it, but um, but. I just want the money to come in. And um, what we got here, we got willow, we got tallow. Uh, we got some meat. How much meat have I got in storage? 246. I wonder whether I've got enough smokehouses. Okay, raiders coming in. We're going to come in from here. Um. about These guys are the biggest threat. Um, okay, we're holding them here. They've gone round to there, but they've got them there. Okay, ah, oops, slow down. Look at this. Okay, we got another. Right, we've got two traders. <laughs> uh, we'll come back to right. We got. We're going to get a premium price for. Um, hide coats. Okay, we're just going to pause while we look at this. We've got grain. How much grain have I got? Seven hundred and ninety-three. That grain is very, very cheap. I think I'm not particularly that interested in wheeling and dealing, to be honest. I am interested in buying hmm, a couple of hundred transfer to down storage. Um, we've got some very cheap bricks as well, but we've got plenty of bricks. What's this guy? It by beer, honey. Uh, he's not going to pay pay a premium. This guy's selling medicinal herbs, but he's selling them at a premium. That's no good. We've got some coats. I don't really want to buy coats. They're, they're just so expensive. Well, we'll just got to make everybody unhappy. Um, okay. out right we've lost a gate here build the fortified gate that didn't take a I do wonder whether they kept got through here very very quickly and I am wondering I mean they would go up around that way Whether we need a bit of an inner wall here. So we'll just see defenses. Fortified wall there. Where I put a gate. 
Play that. Uh, you said that. You said that. Yep, thank you. And I'm kind of thinking Are you there. They always come in from this side, so of course this is the famous last words because the moment I do this, um, okay, this is only going to come out this far. No. Do some leveling there. We put a wall there. Village was, was raided. Basically, 47, we killed 39 raiders, one, lost one villager. Okay. Um, you... I think you need to move back to a bit of a safer location. Out of the way. Yeah, I think if we get this leveled out here and we can build a defensive line here, out to here, and then put some uh, towers here, wall here. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> we create a defensive line here. This tower. Actually, I don't you need that. Remove, delete that one. We don't need that one. Is there a... Build you to there. What that will mean is any attackers will have to um, basically get through these defences because so I'm so very worried about the fact that they ma they manage they keep managing to get here is not good. Okay, we've now got this here. Um, we'll get us my office workers. Right, we're okay. We're just on the edge. Uh, I think we're get two soldiers in here. There's no point having this and not have it manned. Okay. Hundred and eighteen hide coats. <laughs> uh okay game. I can you're just trying to annoy me, aren't you now? And uh, we've got seventeen hides. Okay, I'm gonna put you force me into it. I've got a um what we'll do is just put one person. Oh. What we have is one person making the. Uh, yeah. What we'll have is just one person making the hide coats. So that will come that way. What we got here smokehouse uh, somebody died there um, crops eaten right hopefully we can now where's the road fences It's not finished yet. Um, I'm a bit aware that I'm running out of time. Okay, rat catcher. Cover that area. rat catcher here I want you to kind of possibly cover this area a little little patch of rats just there ok 
Okay, we're now losing money. <laughs> uh, it's quite dramatic. Yeah, our rat catchers are starting to get very, very expensive. And, right, we've got this field here. Now, this is the experiment that I want to do is we're going to put one of those in and put one of those in. And then we're going to, all we're going to do is grow clover here. And we're going to reduce the assigned workers to one. Actually, gonna gonna do is move you there, put you there. All I want is these fields producing there. I'll begin planting. Yeah, that's okay. Right, we're now in a position to upgrade our towers. Increased range, increased durability. Increased upkeep. What's our current upkeep? I'd be very careful now. Um, defenses. What is the... This is five. I think this is the real killing tower. So we're going to upgrade you. 350 gold. Now, as far as I know, two troops aren't going to be enough to go out and kill a, a wolf pack. Uh, we're going to need more than that. Right, we've now got a connection to there. Uh, let me just see how far we can get the stone wall out here now. Uh, you out that far. That will wait to that there. I do wonder if I can get this a little bit lower. Yeah, maybe about there. Just right. We've got seven new villagers. Oh, we might actually and um, uh, using money. Hospital services compost yard. Okay. We certainly need to start. You think you could do that well for me? Do we have spare workers? Um, no, don't have enough knights or collectors. Um, one short on miners. Where are we short with hunters? Looking for oh, I know where uh, we'll get a missing hunter. And that is probably out here. He got killed, as usual. Get Hunter into there. I think we're going to have to put yeah, another worker onto the sand trip pit there. How much gold have I got? I mean, we've got 2,000. I could transfer a little bit more. 500. The 100. Cover all those expenses. That is our rat catcher. Okay. 
you guys aren't really doing a particularly very good job are you um Uh, night soil people, eighty-four percent. Eighty-one percent. Okay, we've now barely got making a profit now, and we're still building this, and we do need to make money. Right, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm running out of time, so we're going to play to the next trader. And then we'll just leave it at that. Um, because I've, I've got way too many outstanding. Look what we got here. Coal mine. No, it just knocked you back a bit. Wait, where are you gone? No shoes again. <laughs> We need to get this cobbler online. Uh, just not producing enough shoes. Okay, we comes the trader. Um, we were producing plenty of coats, and we're getting a premium price for those, so we can make it some money from that. Got some candles, we're getting premium price from that. And that's about it. Uh, not what we got here. Iron ore. Yeah, but you want top notch money for that. I'm not going to pay money for that. We've got. We may have to buy some shoes, but buying shoes is expensive. I'm just going to play on a little bit, see if we get the second trader come in. And then we'll take it from there. Building needs more workers. Where's that? Um, okay. It's a work camp. What? Oh, you're on this work camp. Where are you cutting trees? You're cutting trees out here. That's good. Um, so you've got all these wolves here. I think there's a single wolf den there. We could get a few more troops. Uh, we could start making some money. This area is getting a little bit better. Um, we got here, try and build site. Um, we've got, wow, we don't have that much stone. Okay, uh, we're going to need to make some changes to the work camps. Um, you're going to have to come out here and you're going to put a bit more focus on stone. Actually, we go 50-50 with this guy. What we could do is set some stone. Is there any local stone that we can just clear out? See about that. No bushes. Nothing there. Little bits of stone there. Some little bits of stone over here. See if we can find any more. Whoops, no. Stone there. Down there as well. Right, we've got a second trader in at the moment. Now it looks like we've only had the one trader for this cycle. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.